the question is, we don't have uh, the ability of accepting credit cards or debit cards in our church yet. How do we uh, go about doing that, or what is the best way? Listen, on our IM website, we have uh, two routes of travel and trying to make it easy for the folks uh, in our IM family. Uh, one is through PayPal. PayPal is a very good source, uh, and especially for ease of operation. They're not necessarily the cheapest, but they are definitely as simple as, as it gets. If you go to PayPal and you become, I believe, uh, one of its member, you, you, can, you can be uh, like a platinum member or something like that, and that probably changes with time, which would date this um, recording to you. But PayPal is a valid source of a merchant account. That's what that's called. To be able to receive uh, uh, credit cards, you need what is called a merchant account. And PayPal will set that up for you by going through the process. When you sit down uh, to do it through PayPal, you'll want to have um, a, a bank statement, something with all your banking numbers and information on it, because on the form that you fill out, you're going to want to uh, uh, have, th have that available to you right away, and you won't be rummaging for it. So I just get that uh, right off the bat. The other... Um, the form that we have on there another way which is equally as easy and I think you may find it a little bit cheaper um, and and that is uh, there's another uh, another uh, merchant account system called authorized net authorized.net and that's available from our website as well either one of those is a is a pretty good uh, way of doing it they're they're safe they're internet safe now, it allows you, both of them will allow you to receive um, credit card information on a envelope or a card and put into, the, um, into your um, offering baskets. You take those uh, and count them as you would uh, an offering, as a part of your offering. You then put them in, uh, enter them into uh, the uh, websites for each of each of those, either one of those, whichever one you have uh, chosen to go with. That merchant account has a, an online internet site for you to put every trans transaction in. It then does paperwork for you automatically. It gives you all the accounting of, of all of that. I will tell you this, that the more information on the giver that you have in that form, the cheaper it is for you because you pay a monthly fee for any uh, merchant account, you also, which is a, usually a monthly minimum, and then you pay a percentage, uh, and it's a varying percentage uh, between um, of of that is on the actual total amount of of the uh, the money that is given. Now. When I say that, a varying percentage, it varies dependent upon the security for the merchant account. In other words, if all you have is the person's name, the expiration date, and the credit card number, that's not very secure because somebody could get that by seeing their credit card. So you're going to pay a higher rate to do business that way as opposed to the person giving you the exact... Um, address uh, and phone number and zip code for postal code for that specific credit card uh, as well as the other information as well. When you give all that information then there's a whole lot chance that some someone has stolen the information off that credit card so therefore you will not be paying the same percentage. You'll be paying a lower percentage for uh, on your merchant account for taking that money in. So that's just a little bit of, of uh, complexity to it all. It doesn't take very long. It's, it's not a big learning curve. You, anyone can get a, a merchant account in, in business and should. Um, the two that we offer on our website, of course, has helped to you. Um, uh, there's no kickback to us at all for that, by the way, and, and, and we don't get anything for it. The only reason why we have it on our website is to help you get going. Now, <clears throat> in both of those cases, they also have the ability for you to receive monies online. 
Now, not all merchant accounts will allow you to do that. You have to have an online gateway in order for you to be able to receive the information on the internet and go through a, a secure server in order for it to be deducted, deducted from uh, the person's uh, credit or debit account. And so both of the, in both of those cases, you can do either online or um, you can uh, uh, receive offerings in public places. You can even have a, if you have a product table, you, each of them will allow you to buy a, uh, one of those machines for the card, and uh, you can have have that as well uh, in both cases. So those are, that's pretty much the simple way of doing it. And if you uh, get to it, uh, the, there is a learning curve, but not much of one in it, and uh, it's definitely prosperous. We have found that over a two-year period of time when the church is used to using credit cards and debit cards that you'll increase your income from 15 to 65% just because you're not forcing people to give via cash or and check only. So it's well worth that which you pay, and, and it's well worth the learning curve you go through to uh, give your people the opportunity to give in this way.